Preventing SQL Injection in Java The Java Database Connectivity Specification contains a clearly delineated set of API allowing for the parameterization of database queries. Parameterized queries are implemented using a technique called variable binding to help eliminate SQL injection. To understand how to write parameterized queries, let's start by reviewing a JDBC code snippet that is vulnerable to SQL injection. This snippet is vulnerable to SQL injection because of the dynamic construction and evaluation of SQL code using attacker-controlled data via the statement API on lines 7 through 9. This code snippet can be modified to leverage variable binding via the use of the prepared statement API. Let's take a look at a safer alternative to this code that is free of SQL injection vulnerability. Lines 5 through 7 of this code snippet makes use of the prepared statement API to pre-compile SQL code with question mark placeholders. The question mark placeholders are later substituted to contain attacker-controlled data as shown on lines 9 through 10. Since the SQL code has already been pre-compiled, attacker-supplied special characters such as a single quote will not influence the meaning of the query, thereby rendering SQL injection moot. Last but certainly not least, the SQL code is executed on the last line and the results are returned. Note that there were no arguments passed to the execute query method as was the case in the previous vulnerable code snippet. Object relational mapping, also known as ORM technologies such as Hibernate and Ibatus, will often expose API, allowing for the safe execution of SQL code directly against the backend database. Consider the following Hibernate code snippet. Very similar to the prepared statement API, this Hibernate code snippet precompiles SQL code using question mark placeholders on lines 4 through 6. Lines 8 and 9 will replace the question mark placeholders with dynamic data that cannot change the meaning of the query, and line 10 will execute the underlying query and return the results. This demonstrates how to safely issue direct SQL queries using Hibernate. Now, let's take a look at the following iBetis code snippet executing the same SQL query. iBetis will make use of the prepared statement API under the hood when dynamic variables are denoted using the hash left bracket right bracket syntax. This code snippet uses the hash bracket syntax to safely denote the user and pass dynamic variables, thus triggering iBetis to make use of a prepared statement with question mark placeholders for these values. This code snippet demonstrates how to safely issue direct SQL queries using iBetis. Regardless of the database technology in use, the variable binding is the de facto method for mitigating SQL injection in Java applications.